In electromagnetism, the magnetic susceptibility Latin, susceptibilis, receptive", denoted chi is one measure of the magnetic properties of a material. The susceptibility indicates whether a material is attracted into or repelled out of a magnetic field, which in turn has implications for practical applications. Quantitative measures of the magnetic susceptibility also provide insights into the structure of materials, providing insight into bonding and energy levels. If the magnetic susceptibility is greater than zero, the substance is said to be «paramagnetic». The magnetization of the substance is higher than that of empty space. If the magnetic susceptibility is less than zero, the substance is «diamagnetic». It tends to exclude a magnetic field from its interior. Mathematically, it is the ratio of magnetization m, magnetic moment per unit volume, to the applied magnetizing field intensity h. Definition. Volume susceptibility. Magnetic susceptibility is a dimensionless proportionality constant that indicates the degree of magnetization of a material in response to an applied magnetic field. A related term is magnetizability, the proportion between magnetic moment and magnetic flux density. A closely related parameter is the permeability, which expresses the total magnetization of material and volume. The volume magnetic susceptibility, represented by the symbol chi v, often simply chi, sometimes chi m, magnetic, to distinguish from the electric susceptibility, is defined in the international system of units. In other systems, there may be additional constants. By the following relationship, m equals chi v. H display style math BF M equals Chi underscore V math BF H here M is the magnetization of the material the magnetic dipole moment per unit volume measured in amperes per meter and H is the magnetic field strength also measured in amperes per meter Chi V is therefore a dimensionless quantity Using SI units, the magnetic induction B is related to H by the relationship B equals mu zero H plus M equals mu zero one plus chi v h equals mu h Display style math BF B equals mu underscore zero left math BF H plus math BF M right equals mu underscore zero left one plus chi underscore V right math BF H equals mu math BF H where mu zero is the vacuum permeability see table of physical constants and one plus chi V is the relative permeability of the material. Thus the volume magnetic susceptibility chi v and the magnetic permeability mu are related by the following formula mu equals mu 0 1 plus chi v Display style mu equals mu underscore zero left one plus chi underscore v right. Sometimes an auxiliary quantity called intensity of magnetization I, also referred to as magnetic polarization J, and measured in teslas, is defined as I equals mu zero m. Display style math bf i equals mu underscore zero math bf m. This allows an alternative description of all magnetization phenomena in terms of the quantities i and b, as opposed to the commonly used m and h. 
mass susceptibility and molar susceptibility. There are two other measures of susceptibility, the mass magnetic susceptibility chi mass or chi g, sometimes chi m, measured in cubic meter per kilogram si, and the molar magnetic susceptibility chi mole, measured in cubic meter per mole that are defined below, where ρ is the density in kilogram per cubic meter and m is molar mass in kilogram per mole chi mass equals Chi V Rho Display style Chi underscore text mass equals FRAC Chi underscore V Rho Chi Mole equals M Chi Mass equals M Chi V Rho Display style Chi underscore text mole equals M Chi underscore text mass equals FRAC M Chi underscore V Rho in CGS units. Note that the definitions above are according to SI conventions. However, many tables of magnetic susceptibility give CGS values more specifically EMU CGS, short for electromagnetic units, or Gaussian CGS, both are the same in this context. These units rely on a different definition of the permeability of free space B CGS equals H CGS plus 4 pi m cgs equals 1 plus 4 pi chi v cgs H CGS Display style Math BF B carrot text CGS equals Math BF H carrot text CGS plus four Pi Math BF M carrot text CGS equals left one plus four Pi Chi underscore V carrot text CGS right Math BF H carrot text CGS the dimensionless CGS value of volume susceptibility is multiplied by 4 pi to give the dimensionless SI volume susceptibility value. Chi V SI equals 4 pi Chi V CGS display style chi underscore v caret text si equals four pi chi underscore v caret text CGS. For example, the CGS volume magnetic susceptibility of water at 20 degrees Celsius is minus 7.19 times 10 minus 7, which is minus 9.04 times 10 minus 6 using the SI convention. In physics it is common to see CGS mass susceptibility given in cc per gram or emu per gram O-1, so to convert to SI volume susceptibility we use the conversion chi v SI equals 4 pi rho CGS Chi M CGS Display style Chi underscore V carrot text SI equals four pi row carrot text CGS Chi underscore M carrot text CGS Where row CGS is the density given in gram per cc or Chi V 
SI equals four Pi times ten minus three row S I Chi M C G S Display style chi underscore v caret text si equals left four pi times ten caret minus three right row caret erm si chi underscore m caret text cgs. The molar susceptibility is measured cc per mole or emu per mole o minus one in cgs and is calculated using the molar mass in gram per mole. Paramagnetism and diamagnetism. If chi is positive, a material can be paramagnetic. In this case, the magnetic field in the material is strengthened by the induced magnetization. Alternatively, if chi is negative, the material is diamagnetic. In this case, the magnetic field in the material is weakened by the induced magnetization. Generally, nonmagnetic materials are said to be para or diamagnetic because they do not possess permanent magnetization without external magnetic field. Ferromagnetic, ferromagnetic, or antiferromagnetic materials possess permanent magnetization even without external magnetic field and do not have a well-defined zero field susceptibility. Experimental measurement Volume magnetic susceptibility is measured by the force change felt upon a substance when a magnetic field gradient is applied. Early measurements are made using the Goy balance where a sample is hung between the poles of an electromagnet. The change in weight when the electromagnet is turned on is proportional to the susceptibility. Today, high-end measurement systems use a superconductive magnet. An alternative is to measure the force change on a strong compact magnet upon insertion of the sample. This system, widely used today, is called the Evans balance. For liquid samples, the susceptibility can be measured from the dependence of the NMR frequency of the sample on its shape or orientation. Another method using NMR techniques measures the magnetic field distortion around a sample immersed in water inside an MISTER scanner. This method is highly accurate for diamagnetic materials with susceptibilities similar to water. Tensor susceptibility The magnetic susceptibility of most crystals is not a scalar quantity. Magnetic response M is dependent upon the orientation of the sample and can occur in directions other than that of the applied field H. In these cases, volume susceptibility is defined as a tensor M I equals H J chi I J display style m underscore i equals h underscore j chi underscore i j, where i and j refer to the directions, e.g. x and y in Cartesian coordinates of the applied field and magnetization, respectively. The tensor is thus rank two, second order, dimension three, three, describing the component of magnetization in the ith direction from the external field applied in the jth direction. Differential susceptibility. In ferromagnetic crystals, the relationship between m and h is not linear. To accommodate this, a more general definition of differential susceptibility is used. Chi I J D equals M I H J display style chi underscore I J caret D equals frac partial M underscore I partial H underscore J where chi dij is a tensor derived from partial derivatives of components of m with respect to components of h when the coercivity of the material parallel to an applied field is the smaller of the two, the differential susceptibility is a function of the applied field and self-interactions, such as the magnetic anisotropy. 
When the material is not saturated, the effect will be nonlinear and dependent upon the domain wall configuration of the material in the frequency domain. When the magnetic susceptibility is measured in response to an AC magnetic field i.e. a magnetic field that varies sinusoidally, this is called AC susceptibility. AC susceptibility and the closely related AC permeability are complex number quantities, and various phenomena, such as resonance, can be seen in AC susceptibility that cannot in constant field DC susceptibility. In particular, when an AC field is applied perpendicular to the detection direction called the transverse susceptibility. Regardless of the frequency, the effect has a peak at the ferromagnetic resonance frequency of the material with a given static applied field. Currently, this effect is called the microwave permeability or network ferromagnetic resonance in the literature. These results are sensitive to the domain wall configuration of the material and eddy currents. In terms of ferromagnetic resonance, the effect of an AC field applied along the direction of the magnetization is called parallel pumping. Examples Sources of confusion in published data The CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics has one of the only published magnetic susceptibility tables. Some of the data e.g., for aluminium, bismuth, and diamond is listed as CGS, which has caused confusion to some readers. CGS is an abbreviation of centimeters gram seconds, it represents the form of the units, but CGS does not specify units. Correct units of magnetic susceptibility in CGS is cc per mole or cc per gram. Molar susceptibility and mass susceptibility are both listed in the CRC. Some table have listed magnetic susceptibility of diamagnets as positives. It is important to check the header of the table for the correct units and sign of magnetic susceptibility readings. See also References and notes External links Linear response functions in Eva Pavarini, Eric Koch, Dieter Volhart, and Alexander Liechtenstein eds. DMFT at 25, Infinite Dimensions, Verlag des Forschungszentrum Julek, 2014 ISBN 978-3-89336-953-9